Okay, here's a pretty ambitious project. I had a couple of students put together a kiosk inside of our Schweitzer Technical Center here at Lewis Clark State College. And the purpose of the kiosk is to showcase some of the different uh, career technical education programs, CTE programs, using a PLC and an HMI. We're actually using a large television here as the monitor for the HMI. And the push buttons activate inputs on a PLC and the PLC activates uh, virtual bits that are read by the HMI and will direct you to different screens. So with that, I'll let one of the students demonstrate. So push, pushing each of the green buttons will bring up a different program to kind of showcase the different programs here the college offers. So what's the red button do? Uh, the red button is the home button. Okay, cool. And this may be difficult to demonstrate here because of the time delay, but there is actually a time delay feature too. Tell me about that. So whenever one of these buttons is pressed, there it activates a time delay, which displays the, this screen for three minutes. And once that three minutes passes, it will automatically reset to the home screen. Okay. So that way it's not stuck on a particular program screen, just, yeah, okay, cool. Go ahead and open the door and comment a bit about what's inside. There we go. Yes, yeah, so what do we have here? Okay, so we have our power coming in through here, mm -hmm. 120 volts AC, which is then put into here, which turns it into 24 volts AC, which powers our Click PLC and our RHMI. Mm -hmm. Our RHMI leads to the HDMI cable into the TV. Okay. And these are all of our input cards. Each one right. coming to terminal block, which then comes to these switches. And we've uh, daisy chained the common mm -hmm. of every switch so that we only need to apply one polarity to one side and then all of these can. Cool. And how does the RHMI unit communicate with the PLC? Through Ethernet. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Great job, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.